Bonjour, vous avez remarqué que Millennium en France, c'est un carton. Ça marche du feu de Dieu sur Canal+, ce qui est un peu normal, puisque non seulement c'est de qualité, mais qu'en plus, euh, la France a fait quasiment un tiers des ventes des romans Millennium, donc euh, ceci pourrait quand même en partie expliquer cela. Pour fêter ça, je vous propose un bout d'interview avec l'acteur principal de la série, Michael Nequist, qui joue le rôle justement dans la série du journaliste impertinent. Moi, je lui ai posé la question qui, qui m'intéresse le plus dans la série, hormis le fait que c'est un thriller, c'est que c'est surtout une vision extrêmement sombre, noire et désabusée de la Suède. Est-ce qu'il faut tout montrer Est-ce que c'est pas un petit peu mauvais, justement, pour la Suède de montrer ce genre de choses Eh bien, je l'ai laissé répondre. For me, it's not bad. For me, it's good to describe, you know, the hidden things. And Sweden, we have a tradition of being best <laughs> of things. And you can be, it's very good to be good if you don't talk about some issues. And in Sweden, we were not allowed actually to speak about, we had a problem during the Second World War. We were close to be on the bad side, you know. We were not, I was not allowed to talk about that when I was a kid to my parents. It was really, oh, don't go in there, you know. Because it was, a lot of people said uh, after the world, we, we didn't have anything to do with it, you know. But we know they had. That was one thing. And the other thing was, uh, we had a shock in the 70s. It was uh, a secret, secret police force that was connected to the Social Democratic Party. And that was kind of a really a shock for the democracy in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And uh, the journalists who find out have to go to jail for one year. Uh, so I, I think that inspired, uh, that's, Steve was influenced by this, with his character of Michael, as I play. And then I had a third thing also, it still is a trauma, it was the assassination of our prime minister. Mm. We had a society, you know, he, he walked, with his wife in the streets of Stockholm. No guards and nothing. And he was shot down. After that killing, you know, Sweden, Sweden changed a lot. We were more close to the other Western world countries. But before that, you were so close to the power. We were a country of nine million people. And I remember I was a scout when I was a kid. And the Prime Minister of Palme came in front of me, asking me questions. Because we should have kind of a parade of, we have a king that was killed, uh, dead. And he was like, hello, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. It was so close, you know. Mm -hmm. And now that changed. And, uh, and what it changed into is that the power went isolated in a way. As it is in the Western world today. Power is dangerous. With the power goes the paranoia to lose power, you know. I should describe... Uh, millennium as the old Swedish tradition that we have. I think you call it Polar. It's, uh, we have it with Sjöval Wale, we have it with Wallander, and we have it with Stig Larsson, and some more. And it's about finding out how the society works uh, by putting it into a thriller. And That's the tradition we have. And I don't know, I don't think why we have it in Sweden, I don't know, but I have an idea actually about it, a theory, I should say. Like we were not in the Second World War. We were not in the First World War. And countries that had a lot of killing, they don't have to talk about it. We didn't. We tell stories about it. 